All right, Mike Sedell in Wrightsville Beach this morning in North Carolina, a place that we both uh, are, are pretty familiar with. And I would imagine things are starting to improve, albeit a little breezy this morning, Mike. Yeah, Jim, it's breezy up here on the Johnny Mercer's Pier. Winds gusted to 56 miles an hour just after midnight, and the ananometer and uh, wind gauge right out there, the wind vane right out there at the end of the pier, so 56 miles an hour. At the airport, only in the mid-20s, surf is still up. In fact, the surfers are out in force. We've got about a half dozen out here catching some pretty good breakers, running at about four to five feet as they roll into the beach here at Wrightsville. The tide right now is going out, low tide coming up about 11 a.m. this morning. We did get some rain overnight. It really rained hard for about an hour or so. The airport picking up just over half an inch of rain. Meanwhile, up at Cape Hatteras, I noticed their peak gust so far, 36 miles an hour, and they've had just over four tenths of an inch of rain. But you can see the low level stratus now racing and circulating around the circulation from Claudette now heading across the sounds and the outer banks out to sea. It's moving very quickly, 25 miles an hour, some blue sky too. And as we go through the morning hours, skies are gonna brighten up and the sun is going to come back out. So here's your hourly forecast today. Winds offshore like yesterday. Now they had the red flags going yesterday. The surf was rougher yesterday because winds were gusting 30 to 35 offshore all day. But when you have an offshore wind, the rip current risk is relatively low. So we'll see what they do, the lifeguards, when they get out here in a couple of hours. But other than that, Stephanie, as we get into the afternoon, one of the hottest days so far this summer with temperatures between about 90 and 95 yeah. as Claudette races out into the Atlantic. It's impressive, Mike, because you have a lot of clouds there, and I think people might be shocked at how sunny it will be in a matter of a few hours when this thing moves on out. Let's show you who else will see that sunshine today. Look, we Now let's go out to Mike Sedell in Wrightsville Beach in North Carolina, who is enjoying uh, what is a developing nice beach day. Mike, you're going to need to get in that water. It's going to be hot. It is. You want to get in the water. The water temp now up to 78. They'll end up in the low 80s here in the next few weeks into July. But look at how the sky has changed just in the last 30 minutes. Notice just a few puffy stratus clouds looking off to the inland areas and some higher mid-level clouds above that, some uh, cirrocumulus. But other than that, it's going to be an ideal day after what we dealt with, which wasn't much. We were very fortunate here in the Carolinas. I, we, uh, a, a, weekly, uh, a, a weaker system overall as far as the breadth of the convection and rain on the east side. So we had a couple of hours of heavy rainfall here, just over a half an inch of rain at the Wilmington Airport, about 15 minute drive from here. Uh, the peak wind out here at the end of the Johnny Mercer's Pier was 56 miles an hour, and that was recorded at a uh, dozen minutes after midnight last night, early this morning, with those uh, that squall that came through the batch of rain that has now exited uh, most of the outer banks as jim showed you we still have some rain in the virginia beach area nice wide beach right now sunshine coming out folks coming out to enjoy a day but look how wide it is low tide is in about an hour and a half so it's still going to go back out a little bit more and then it will come back in high tides coming up around 4 35 this evening so stephanie the sun is beating down and it's that sun angle the first week of summer this is the strongest sun angle in the north, northern hemisphere. I put my sunscreen on this morning, and I'm glad I did because, yeah. boy, I can feel just heating up the backside of me. I, I literally just said, oh, look at that sun now, uh, you know, hit inside out, because just last hour we had those nice cloud deck, and we were telling everyone how quickly the system was moving out. So let's show you, Claudette, and what's happening with this forecast. Scotia. All right, let's go back out to Mike Seidel. He's in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. And, you know, Mike, I'm looking at people setting up their umbrellas on the beach behind you. You've got sunshine. Is there any kind of warnings about the tropical system there? Um, you know, what are people saying or doing? Obviously, beaching. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to get out to the beach. The tropical storm warning, as you know, is still up. I think they'll drop that uh, at uh, 11 o'clock in the next advisory later this hour. But they are flying the red flags again uh, at the lifeguard stands. They just came up on duty a few minutes ago. Same as yesterday, but I can tell you from being out here yesterday, the surf is not as frothy. And again, with an offshore wind, rip current's not a, a big risk, typically, with an offshore wind. There's no rip current statement out from the Weather Service. But look at this nice, wide beach. Boy, low tide at about 45 minutes. Last night, we did have some impacts from Claudette here at Wrightsville, Wilmington, southeast North Carolina. And this is a video from Oak Island, down in Brunswick County. You can see the wind and rain. And it didn't last very long. Two to three hours was it at the Wilmington Airport. We got just uh, over a half an inch of rain, and just about all of that fell in two hours. Highest wind gust was out here at the uh, pier.
the Johnny Mercer's Pier at Wrightsville. Peak gust on the NOAA buoy and the uh, wind gauge up there on the top of the fishing pier, 53 miles an hour at 12, 12 a.m. But inland at the airport, they only peaked in the mid-20s. In fact, it was windier yesterday than last night when we actually had the rain. So flash flooding didn't happen. Uh, we didn't have any reports of any wind damage as expected. Just uh, a brief bout of some heavy rain. And Tevin, when it hits at night and it's, you know, it's two or three hours of rain and you wake back up, you're on vacation, <laughs> plunking down big bucks on a hotel or a condo, <laughs> and you wake yeah. up to this. Nope. You know, everybody's happy this morning because they have another happy, that's right. good beach day. Mike, I was in Biloxi And the tropical the storm was kind of a blip while they were sleeping here at Wrightsville. Yeah, Mike, it's all about that timing. If it happens overnight, not a lot of people notice, of course, if it comes along with some damaging winds. And that's a much different story. Mike, thanks for the.